What's up? Come here, Sam. Come here, Sam. What's happening, man? I'm hanging out here with my good buddy, Scotty Cramner. You may know him uh, for winning the X Games, BMX superstardom. But what you don't know is he's also, like all of us, he's a reptile nerd, turtle nerd, and we're gonna see just a few of the animals that he keeps here, so. Uh, so deniable, man, I love him. <laughs> I know, man. I couldn't help it, ever since I was a kid, I love turtles. Yeah, well, we're gonna find out. I remember the out. first time I actually found a turtle, it was at a lake, and I was just, my mind was blown. I felt like I was just holding something that was just different than any other animal or whatever I've ever seen before. Yeah. And like, ever since then, I just had like, just, infatuation with them you know I just right love on. love them whatever they are they're just so cool um, but here we're here in New Jersey and you right. can help me out with some of my questions about my turtles I would greatly appreciate that I want to know how to set up my turtle area I want to know how to set up my tortoises I want to know exactly what they need to have a positive healthy happy life all right cool dude we're gonna get to it we're also gonna learn a lot about Scotty and a really cool inspirational story as well so stick around a good portion of my life has been all about action which still holds true. But now I pour all that time and energy into wildlife conservation, education, and the pursuit of knowledge. This is Camp Tender. So first things first, Scott, I think we need to tell my viewers, some of you may not know this, but Scotty went through a really gnarly injury last October, right? Yeah, October. So he went down real hard. So I'm super excited to be here with Scotty right now because we didn't know if you were going to pull through and be able to walk again, yeah. straight up. Well, secrets out of the bag, guys. <laughs> I'm back on my feet right now. Yeah, spoiler but alert. Listen, it, this, what you see right now, it was a long way to get here, it was. And it was, it was a lot of really dark moments and times where I thought that you know, my life had completely changed and I wasn't gonna be able to get back on my feet yeah. or even come near a bike again. And here we are, we just passed seven months now and Sick. I'm back on my feet. I'm starting to learn how to walk again and I'm starting to get feeling back in certain areas and I do have a long road ahead of me. It's definitely nowhere near over, but I have it good right now, I really yeah, do. Man. Oh, well, I'm stoked. Listen, I've known this guy since you were, I guess you might have been like 15 or 16 years yeah, old. Somewhere around there. He was a young phenom. I was still announcing with the Dew Tour and Gravity mm -hmm. Games and all that, and I had heard about this crazy young guy who was coming up. And it was so much fun because this dude, he's kind of like me in the way that he's just, I don't know, like energetic, a lot of passion for what he does. And when we connected, we connected as human beings. I just loved him as a little guy. But then like a few years later, I find out he's totally into tortoises, like into turtles, tortoises. So that even like made us bond even pretty more. Pretty crazy actually. It was pretty rad, yeah. dude. So like I said, he's gotten turtles from me and then I've gotten turtles back from him. Yep. Let's go see, let's go see what he's got going on. I'm so yeah. stoked, man, that you're doing so well. I haven't actually seen you like face to face in a few years, so yeah, it's, been a it's cool. Wow. So this is rad, man. I mean, you got, you, you know, these are like what you would consider like basic, setups for aquatics but they're perfect because you have all the requirements that are needed you got great filtration that's number one yes. are you anal about keeping water clean i am i yeah. am you know I, I try to make sure that these guys are going to be happy no matter what that's my main priority with these guys so i make sure that the water is changed frequently that's a must you know i let it go every couple of weeks every few weeks and uh there we go that's one of the reasons right there yeah this is <laughs> right dude like i hope you don't mind me just putting my hands Not in your tank so like this is a male Reeves turtle. You guys have seen these in my house, but I love this species. They're so amazing as far as personalities. And you can smell them musking right now. Do you smell that? It, yeah, they, they that's what they, they do. They stink, they honestly. They, they put out a musk because they're scared. Yeah, but these, these are great. These are from China and Taiwan and I love them. So many people like, you know, like the colorful turtles and this and that. Mm. I like the turtles that are funny to watch and interact with. Out of all the aquatic turtles I have, the personalities are mm -hmm. the best in, in the reef turtles. Yeah. They're how, how old are these? Because here's here's something that's crazy. We were talking a little bit before the cameras rolled. Yeah. And yeah. you're doing some kind of miracle grow with your tortoises and turtles, <laughs> man. Like, wait till you see this. You, when you hear the ages of some of these, he's getting really nice growth on these animals, but it's a, a fast, healthy growth. What are you doing, man? So I'm feeding them uh, Missouri. That's what that's what I feed um, the tortoises and the aquatic turtles. Okay. Um, so that's the main thing. Um, and then, uh, you know, I'll give them, you know, proteins here and there, like extra things, whether it be uh, insects and whatnot. Um, but for the aquatics, never yes, for, never, never for, the, never yeah. for over there, gotcha. never for over there. But the, uh, this reef turtle, they, they're five years old. They're five years old. Them, yeah. Well, that's pretty so. good. These do grow pretty quick, but this is, this is an adult male. 
And then you have another one in here? Yep. Let's see. Oh, I'll chase it out there. there yeah, it's it on the other end right there. Yeah. How cool is this? Oh, that's rad. So it looks like you have two males, but you know what's neat is many of the males in this species get dark, and I think that's what you're getting right here. They kind of get black as they get older. Um, but yeah, that's pretty amazing. Now let's have a look. Yeah, yeah the color like, difference. I was uh, oh, I was pretty amazing. pretty surprised by just how oh, yeah? you know light the one is compared to the other. Wow, they're beautiful, man. They're I just love reefs. Let's move on down the line, dude. I always like to put my aquatics um, back up on when I pull them out of the water. I always like to just put them back on land and let them go back in the water. Uh, because believe it or not, we were just talking, um, turtles can drown, they breathe air. So if there's, if there's, you know, especially the species we're gonna see next, if they don't have something to climb out on or if they exhaust themselves by swimming in a corner, then they can actually drown. Mm -hmm. um, so you wanna be careful with that and you wanna make sure that you're, which you have here, a lot of things they can climb on and kind of get out of a sticky situation. I saw them go. Yeah, they're usually hiding in there. That's uh, These no, guys, we, they really don't like the camera too much. That's all right. <laughs> hey, are these the two that we're gonna actually do some stuff on Scotty's channel too? We are. All right, so for those of you who don't know it, Scotty actually is a pretty amazing uh, YouTube channel. They're pretty aggressive. They're pretty, they're de totally like aggressive. They're really look at, aggressive. Look at that thing, look. These are, this is what musk turtles and mud turtles do. Um, amazing, man. Now, you know what's cool about these before I get on pimping out your YouTube channel, uh, which you guys definitely should check out because it's a load of fun, man. You can learn a lot about, you know, what Scotty does and being a pro. Big boy, get over here, yeah, dude. Why are you right little lurking just, in the back? You know what? Ladies and you know gentlemen, big boy. Oz, the big boy's here, the turtle man himself. I don't know much about turtles, but I've learned a lot about turtles because this dude right here. So I'm going to, well, I'm, tell you. Come on over I'm here, taking notes from afar, <laughs> taking notes. So, so since, since Scotty kind of got banged up a little bit, uh, you've been, you've now been the turtle apprentice here. <laughs> I've done filters, I've done water changes, I've done uh, water tank emptings, I've uh, gotten bit by those turtles, uh, got peed on by those ones, I'm quite, quite familiar with it all. That's yeah. very good, and I think all, all my viewers are familiar with that as well. But uh, that's big boy, this dude is, I've never met him before today, but after watching your YouTube channel, I feel like we're buds, man. This guy is a load of fun. That's what happens with Big Boy. He's oh, that yeah. kind of like to have fun. He's got to have fun. <laughs> Big Boy is all about fun. All right, so we're going to reel it back in. Let's give our friends a little bit of... So we're just these are just some uh, musk turtles here. And you can see, man, where'd you get these now? So what the, was the story scoop? with these, a friend of mine found them, and he had them at his house, and they were tiny. They were so small. Yep. And I said, you know what? Let's raise these guys up, and then we're going to release them. Well, here's what's sick. So check this out, guys. We're going to release these on his YouTube channel channel and you might see me uh, do a bike trick at the skate park later. <laughs> so I don't know. There's talks of that. There's talks. There's, it there's, there's possible. possible. <laughs> she man's word. Yeah, all right, we'll see. So uh, anyway, just bring it in, Tom. Check this out. Here's what's neat. Okay. So this is a male and a female uh, for sure. Here's, here's the male. Large, thick base tail. And here's a little cute girl. Now here's what's even sicker, folks, is we're also going to do a bonus video uh, that you'll find on our YouTube. You guys just found this egg. We just found that egg Look at yesterday. This. Look, my at wife that. couldn't believe it when she found it. So right away, I called. Ken he and called Al. me up, and I shot up here. I was already going to be in the Northeast coming to visit him, but it was just a very fortuitous that I'm here because yeah, we're going to do a bonus video how to set this egg up and incubate it if you don't have an incubator. So since these animals are found within the range in New Jersey, we should be able to incubate this in the uh, good old garage here. That's awesome. Uh, That's with ambient so temperature, so and it should be fertile. Which is cool, you can find an egg and we'll get into it more. But anyway, I'm super pumped. So we're gonna let these guys go today and get them back out into nature. Um, fantastic job, Scott. How old are these? So these guys, I'm assuming when I found the hatchlings, they were they were about they were about this big or so. And uh, they've grown, it's been about two and a half years. Unreal, ish. look at that, two years and he's got eggs out of these guys. Um, just so you know, the mud and musk turtles have the smallest hatchlings of any species. There you go, big boy. Now you know some worthless turtle information. I know more now. I'm ready you know to more, dude. You that one's got a lot to say. It keeps open his mouth. And <laughs> <wide open. laughs> I like I like big mouths, and I cannot lie. So again, we're gonna put them out there. All right, finally, uh, as far as your aquatics, man. You got some uh, Texas maps? Is yes, that what they are? We have Texas map turtles over here. But you love these guys. That's a I do love them. I just, you know, it's just the, the, the way that they look. You know, the designs on them, they're so, they're so beautiful. The shells are amazing. Um, these guys are really timid out of all the turtles that we have. That these guys, they really don't want much to do with me. Right. You know, when, when we come around, they just want to be underwater. They, they're not really too interested in being, you know, um, near us. And uh, they're, but they're so beautiful to look at. Just, oh my God, the shells, the, 
the the designs on them they're just they really are breathtaking yeah they are cool my favorite thing about map turtles is is how strong swimmers they are. You know, when we did, if you guys, last summer, uh, and when you get even stronger, mm -hmm. we'll bring you to the spot. Last summer, we did it, check out the video, uh, Secret Map Turtles on the channel. There's a population of map turtles here in New Jersey, and we snorkeled with them. And you'll find map turtles in streams with, you know, in current. So they're strong swimmers, and that's what I love watching them do. I love watching them swim. I, it's very therapeutic for me, you know? Like, I'm sure you get into it. Like, I love it. Just, really uh, do. I, that's what a lot of us love our aquatics for, you know? Um, do you mind if I pull one out? Oh, of course. Yeah, right, cool. Of course. Careful in there. But, yeah, the girl, she likes to... Uh, oh, yeah, uh, I mean, they yeah. all like to oh, zap yeah. a little oh, bit. Oh, she's got those sharp little... Look at that mouth out there. Out there. So you, now this mouth, here's what's fun about these guys. These guys are actually... Um, somewhat related to diamondback terrapins and diamondback terrapins the females especially get a really um, pronounced uh, crushing surface on their beaks they'll these guys eat they have a strong bite and they eat a lot of he hard shell <laughs> oh you got bit yeah, I've been nipped a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see if she's she's pulled in. I don't want to make her bite. Yeah. But anyway, like they really, if you zoom in, Tom, you can really see just how uh, powerful that surface is, and that helps them break through snails, things like that 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 have a harder exoskeleton. Um, that's kind of a specialized diet. So it's always fun if you ever want to get some like freshwater krill. Mm -hmm. You can always put that in with them and that's good, you know, because it'll get them the calcium they yeah. need from their exoskeletons and so on. But they're beautiful, man. And and like I said, all of his animals are just he's raising them up right and you know you can do it. This is th these are simple um simple enclosures, right? Um, and now you've got plants but you got hurt. You know, you just moved here not long ago, you got hurt. So, I mean, We'll cut them. I mean, there's nothing wrong with these at all, but I mean, as far as getting, you know, you want these guys in a pond I do, outside. I do. Yeah, so of course. Good. Uh, that was the game plan, and then I go in and I get hurt, so it's going uh, well, to be a tough one. I did not mean it, actually. <laughs> but. You never go out there planning to, like, land on your head, so uh, I'm glad you're all right. But yeah, we'll put you saw the big boy, the builder, will be back in there making a pond, don't you worry. <laughs> yeah. 2018, we'll have a football pond. <laughs> so that's the aquatics, but, you know, you had some questions for me regarding yes, your tortoise table here. I just want to make sure that my tortoises are as happy healthy as can be all right cool man so, so come on over here let's check, check out. guys check this out this is pretty rad i'm gonna lift her this is a female nice heavy happy look at the shell on this leopard tortoise is this incredible this is one of those you know as as far as a um you know it's not like a ball python morph but as far as a morph a lot of people will call these like a snow leopard a snowball leopard because there's so much of the high yellow mm -hmm. and white in the margins here uh, in between the black. I mean, this is, dude, this is a stunner. She's beautiful. She's <laughs> sick, man. It's the first uh, turtle that we got was, no way. was this uh, tortoise. Oh my god. We got man. her when she was, uh, she was about that big when we first got her. And uh, she's just been so amazing. Like, she's just so curious and happy. Like, when we come around, she comes out. She's just, yep. she's like part of the crew, which is really, which is really awesome. Well, now that the weather is finally broke, I'm gonna put her back down. We'll talk about this tortoise table. So this is something you guys slap together for the winter to house them, right? So you, yep. bo he boxes this in. He's got the lamps, he's got heating pads. And I mean, the testament is the, how nice the shells look. Remember, leopard tortoises are gonna have a natural pyramiding uh, in general. As do, I know you guys are going to be psyched on this little guy. And here's another thing, guys, I, I feel I should mention. You know how I always talk, I keep my species separate. But these are all captive bred. Look at this. She's going to get a little drink. Oh, look, at it. look at that. I just love it. I love seeing them do their thing. Um, and Scotty, you pull these guys out, right? You pull these guys out all the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you got to watch his channel because it's funny. Like his, his vlog, if it's a vlog, a show, whatever you want to call it, uh, really goes into his life. It's a lot of fun. You see so much of the fun things these guys do. But you'll see his dogs. He's got some bulldogs. He's got these tortoises. They'll be walking around. He's got fast cars. It's a lot of fun. We do uh, a little bit of everything. Yeah. yeah. So what we got here I wanted to show off is we'll pull out the Indian star. And this dude I've noticed is a, a little bit got some tude, dude. It's like the truth. Yeah, and he's also got that crazy little beak. Now that's just how he was born, huh? Yeah, it's just that's pretty gnarly, man. That's pretty cool. Now you can actually, you know, if you wanted to, one of the things that I think can help with this is you can Dremel this down. I know it sounds crazy. Yeah, it sounds crazy. Yeah, I know, but you know, you want to Dremel that down a little bit and Dremel this down. But this was definitely from, I believe that's from birth. But you can trim that down 
and to also help them wear their beaks down when they're eating because since they're not grazing what you want to do is we'll go to uh, get you a flat rock okay like a piece of slate and rather than feed them on paper plate mm -hmm. feed them on that slate you can get one for food and place one underneath mm -hmm. the the lamp and what that'll do is it absorbs the heat yeah. and holds the heat so they'll lay on the rock, raise their body temperature. And then as they graze, as they eat their food, they're going to wear their beak down naturally on that, that, on that slate rock. So that would be, that's just a suggestion for me, man. Like, um, don't be afraid. You know, you could take toenail clippers and just I'm a scared. little bit. I'm I, know, I, know. Of that. I know, I know, I know. Especially me, you know. I can well, no, well, we'd have to have, I don't know, big boys up for it, but maybe we can do something later on. I don't on. know about a drone with a turtle's head. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know it sounds, you can, I'm cool you can go to a vet. You can yeah. actually have a vet. Oh, really? We'll do that. Yeah. They'll know what to do. You just bring that down a little bit because if, that, if they don't naturally wear that down, eventually they're going to have problems opening their okay. mouth. So that's, that's one suggestion. Um, but the, the these guys are very active, very happy, and you bring them out a lot. So the final tortoise that I want to show is this golden Greek tortoise here. Dude, Scott, this has been raised up indoors its whole life. Look at how beautiful that is. We change the uh, bulbs for so they get the proper vitamins and whatnot. And right. you know, in the summer we take them out, you know, a couple times a week just to get them some proper, you know, vitamins UVB. from the sun. You're right, exactly. Because if you guys aren't aware, the UVB bulbs will lose their potency yeah, every six months. Six months exactly. Every six months we change them. Yeah, so that's pretty rad. Isn't that guy cool, man? And then, uh, Oh yeah, he's already in the bath, big boy. So, You're so mad. He's already in there. I just replaced the water, and he's already taking a dip. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know you that's what they'll that, do. Homie. Well, I guess like Scotty, I mean, it's totally functional. Um, what would be fun for the summer months is getting like some kind of small area that you maybe can uh, put them out during the day when it's not raining, because yeah. as we know, Indian stars and leopards can be a little susceptible to uh, damp, wet conditions. Uh, then the only thing is, as that leopard gets bigger. Um, she might be able to push this yeah, a little she, more. She, she could break out of this joint. Soon, I huh? think so, dude. So I, I wouldn't want, I'd come up a little higher okay. because if she can get her front legs over, I'd be afraid she'd topple she'd out. Herself, huh? Yeah, she'd pull herself out. So that would be my suggestions, buddy. Okay. I mean, you know, that's it, but it's a nice tortoise table. It works good. Um, the proof is in the activity yeah, levels so of the animals. I'll just tell you, we feed, we feed, a. Uh, we feed the tourist greens. We do uh -huh. collard greens. We do we do turnip greens. We will do. Uh, it's 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 very rare that they get fruit today. They do. Um, That's fine. Maybe maybe once a week or every two weeks or so we'll give them we'll give them fruit. Um, but they don't they don't really chow down on the fruit too much anyway. Gotcha. It's uh it's only from time to time, and uh, but every day we give them uh, Missouri and uh, yeah the the leopard it's just things it's an eating machine. It's, it is man. That's eating a machine. I'll tell you folks, that's what tortoises are designed to do, Grace, but look at this. You can pet her. She loves it. I mean, it's a super amazing animal. So I'm you, so glad she's as friendly as she is. Wow, well, it's amazing. You spent a lot of time on them. It's like when I go home, all my tortoises come out to see me. Similar situation. <laughs> yeah, but this I is love just, those videos when they come out. They, yeah. It's so cool. It's so rad that he watches those, man. It's rad. So anyway, folks, that's, that's a little bit about my buddy Scotty and Big Boy hanging out here in uh, somewhere in Jersey. <laughs> yep. To, uh, but definitely check out his channel. We'll throw a link up on ours if you want to see some BMX lunacy and just <laughs> randomness that is uh, Scotty and Big Boy. Any other questions? Any other questions do I have? So you actually brought up a couple things that I didn't even, I didn't even Let's think check about. check it out. So which is great. But I'm, I'm just curious, I mean, just like, just looking at my tortoises, do they look happy? Do they look healthy? Do they look clean? Dude, their eyes are clear. Okay. Their noses are clear. They're active. They're constantly moving about. That's a great sign. Okay. Yeah, they're clearly loved, everyone, from the aquatics to over here. And you know, you keep things manageable. I think that's important. A lot of us get you know, too excited. They want a lot of animals. Yeah. You, you seem to have uh, you know, that under control. You know, you got three tortoises. They have large enough space. This girl's getting bigger, she's so she's going to need, yes, yeah, she's going to need more space. She's very active. So um, but you bring her out often, so I mean, I do, it's I important. Do, but she is getting to the point. Yeah, I've, even just since my accident happened, my, right when I got back from there, my wife's like, you, you're not going to believe how big the leopard is. Yeah. And she brought the leopard inside, and this was when I was still stuck in there. And I couldn't believe how big she got just over that six month span. Wow. And it's just, it's, She's getting so big, and uh, um, she deserves more space. She really cool. does. But gotcha. At the same time, she spent some time with the other tortoises. I don't know if she has a little bond or not. You know that, like, I don't want to like, separate them too much. Too much. <laughs> so. No, I think she'll be fine, man. But, but keeping you... these guys together for 
for now? Is that for now, no, I don't see any problems. Like okay. I said, they're all captive raised, um, and it doesn't seem like so anyone's getting bullied for, or not. For well, the, the, the reason I say captive raised is, you know, if you have a tortoise, like for example, the Greek tortoise is from, you know, Mediterranean area, yep. the leopard tortoise is from Sub-Saharan Africa, and then the Indian star is from India. Mm -hmm. So if you got these animals as imports, where they were taken from the wild, one, the leopard tortoise might be healthy, right? But the Indian star, is healthy as well. However, it's built up an immunity to a pathogen that is from its native land. Okay. You put them together, now the leopard tortoise is sick. Okay. All right, so keeping them separate is precautionary method. Uh, you don't want to mix them. Now that we know that these are all captive raised, they all came out of an egg in the United States from, you know, one area, yep. um, you know, that's that's fine. So that's gonna yeah, be okay. it's it's fine. I like to keep things separate because I have a large collection. You I'm have breeding a lot of turtles. Yeah, yes. I'm breeding, so I want to know what's going on in the Greek tortoise enclosure, the leopard tortoise enclosure, and of course, you know, I, I used to have Indian stars, but I no longer keep them because they don't do well in Florida. Yeah. So I moved them on out, and I, I, you know, gave the last ones to a buddy of mine. So um, you know. I don't see anything wrong, Scott. You're doing awesome, dude. Great. I'm glad yeah. to hear. They're good, man. They're well loved. They're so active. They're, they're yeah. so cool. Like, they have such, like, they're little personalities. That's what we really enjoy about Well, maybe you'll do a vlog on your channel about building the new enclosure for everybody, and my friends can go over and check it out. Yeah, that'd be so cool. Honestly, right we, we love these things, and we're going to get Kenan involved and uh, <laughs> make sure we have the proper setup because uh, <laughs> these guys deserve it. They really do. Cool, brother. It's always good to see you, man. All right. So next, uh, um, we're going we're gonna to finish this up. Okay. We're gonna say goodbye. So it's we, we need to clean out. Right, you ready? So, yeah, sure. We're doing it. Yeah, see you later. That's it? That's it? That's how I do it. That's how we stop here? <laughs> That's it, That's it? We did this whole video. We're just going to end it quick like that? How do you want to end it? Can we how? get like a side hug or something? Yeah. No, like, cool. Side hug. Like, there you go. Like, Stoked to see this guy's attitude is firmly intact and his body's following suit. I'm glad you're here in Florida, man, because this is so much fun hanging out. Well, it's been too long. This is New Jersey. Well, sorry, I meant to say from Florida. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes I mix up my words with other words. That's all right. Time. <laughs> and he didn't land on his head. So Not there you go. Not yet. yet. <laughs> all right, man. Love cool. you, brother. Hey, love you too. Hey, thank you so much, man, for the help. This my is so pleasure. awesome. Really enjoy you guys coming out here. Keep yourself up on your channel. Really enjoying it. Kevin.